Hi there, I'm Natasha Morgan. I am a French language tutor. My video today is to help you with one of the big barriers that I regularly talk about with my students. It usually follows a trip to France where my students have gone, they've started to speak French, and what happens? A French person recognizes their English and starts speaking to them in English. No, we can't have that, can we? Here's how to get around that. I've got five top tips for you today. The first one is to respond back in French. Just continue in French, continue your conversation. This is one of the things I do naturally anyway. If I detect a bit of a French accent talking English to me, I just don't notice the difference and respond in French. My subconscious says French. Okay, number two, tell them you'd like to practice. Be honest and just lay your cards on the table and explain that you would like to practice your French. Number three is to stay strong. You've worked too hard to back down now. You've put a lot into learning the phrases, the vocabulary, getting your brain to remember all the content, all the words, to string everything together. You know, you don't want to waste that. Otherwise, what might happen is you don't pluck up the courage to do it next time. You don't want to start to have a little bit of negative feeling where you start to feel anxious, nervous, feel silly. It's best to give it one big shot, go straight in and just keep your ground. There's no need to be aggressive or kind of against them. It's just really relaxed, continue in French and stay Focus and just keep trying to steer the conversation back to French. Number four, be charming and nice. When people are nice, it's hard to get angry with them. So people tend to go with the flow when it's much more of a pleasant environment. Be charming, be nice, smile, and just, just be genuine. I'm sure they won't get offended. The fifth one is to build rapport. We all know it's very important that to achieve things in life, if you have connections, friends, acquaintances that are willing to help you, then you're going to do really well, you're going to do better than if you went it alone. Here, the secret is to strike a rapport, ask a few questions about the area, ask them their name, where did the name come from, talk about where they're from in France, where the best bars are, the best restaurants, anything that kind of shows that you're a nice person, anything that gets them to know your character just to get chatting. Then they will more than likely want to help you in French and start to help you learn a few words, be a bit more patient. At the end of the day, a lot of people, especially waiters, waitresses, they're very busy, they're standing up here, you're down there, they can't hear what you're saying sometimes, all the conversations around you, and they're trying to pick out exactly what you're saying. So don't blame them, it's quite common that they will want to switch back into English because they know English, they can understand the menu in English as well. So hopefully that will put you in good stead. If it doesn't, just remember, just imagine me behind you going, Go on, go on, go on, do it. Stay talking in French, keep going, okay? So please do share me your comments, your thoughts, what you think about that. Perhaps you've tried those already and some of my students will know this anyway, so please come and add your comments after, after trying those techniques and uh, tell me how you find them. Is there something else I've not mentioned? Thanks for watching, take care, goodbye.